Hey guys, Too Legit City here, and I know some of you guys have asked about the how to tap into a geyser bubble like this, and we did have an example in the video, but some of you guys want to see a live example. And right now, we're going to show you guys how to tap into a natural gas geyser bubble. Now, normally, you guys are going to run to areas like this or like this where you're going to have a gas bubble of natural gas. Of course, for the most part, it's going to be the same thing. Usually, you're just going to find a one thick wall like this, and you could even clear out some of the other tiles instead so that you could get a better setup. But today, we're going to tap into this natural gas bubble. And we have a wall already set. There is the two tile tappage that we're adding in. And we're currently waiting for someone to drop a little bit of oil onto this tile. So we're going to be waiting for this. And the moment we drop one bubble of crude oil here, we are going to have the natural tap set up that we're going to need to make sure that none of the gases interchange. Now, of course, we're preventing the slime lung polluted oxygen from going in because we're going to be pumping that out into our generators. But there's already two bubbles of natural or polluted oxygen in here that's kind of uh, mixed in with the natural gas. Luckily, it's lighter, so it's going to be at the top. But we're going to prevent other polluted oxygen from going in and making it harder for the natural gas to spawn. Now, Keikun is there, drops a crude oil. You don't really need that much, so we're going to turn it off. And now we're going to mine out these two tiles. Once these two tiles are mined, we're going to have the perfect lock. As you can see, the liquid on this tile is going to stop any gas from seeping in. And because of the angle we're digging at and the fact that we're mining these two tiles, none of the natural gas is going to be able to leave either. And we have them, Mr. Arrow, Capital Fellow, and Silent One. So, as you can see, the rest of the excess oil spills over. That's not usually a big deal. And the natural gas geyser did spawn a little bit as we dug out, but as the oil pushed in the natural gas, it started to pressurize again. And that's going to be how you tap into a geyser bubble. As you can see, none of the gases are moving in or out, and the amount of natural gas did not fluctuate. It actually, you know, got pushed over because of the crude oil, but you can see that it's pretty much unfazed. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick video. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.